Oliver is a Great Western Railway auto tank engine who works on Ducks Branch Line. Before he came to Soda, Oliver worked on the Great Western Railway. But the other railway wanted to scrap him, so he ran away with Isabel and Toad. But along the way, he ran out of coal and Douglas found him. He helped them to soda. One day, the fact controller came to see Oliver at the sheds. Good morning, Oliver. I have an important job for you. You are to take a train to Vickerstown as Larry has had an accident at Nafford Station and there isn't another engine available. How oh, yes sir. Uh, who will look after Isabel and Dulcie while I'm gone? Donald would look after them for you. Did I bash yourself all of them? I'll look after your coaches for you. Oliver puffed away to Mountford where his train was waiting. Hello there, Oliver. I see you brought Toad with you. Oh, I know. I brought him here so he can help make sure that the trucks don't cause trouble. Yeah, and like what Larry has done. What? I thought I was doing pretty good. Yeah, right. <laughs> The guard blew his whistle and Oliver steamed away. Soon Oliver was steaming along the main line. It's nice to be out on the main line to stretch your wheels, Mr. Oliver. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oliver arrived at Vickers Town. Weedo shunting engine was there. Hello Oliver, nice to see you came all the way with Larry's train after he derailed. I also brought Toad with me as he helped put the trucks in order. Soon it was time for Oliver and Toad to return to the Little Western. Goodbye Mr. Quadra. See you later Toad. But he was in such a rush to get back that he had forgot that he was running low on the coal and water. As Oliver was puffing down the line, it happened.
came to a stop a few miles outside of Krogan's gate. Why have we stopped, Mr. Oliver? We forgot to fill up on more coal and water for the journey back. Oh bother, now we're stuck in the main line. Just then, Gordon steamed past. What's this? Oliver and Toad are stuck on the main line. How on earth did this happen? I forgot to take on more coal and water for the journey home. Well, I guess you aren't doing things the Great Western way, now are you? Later, Paxton was rolling along with a train of stone from the Blue Mountain Quarry when he saw Oliver. What happened here? I ran out of coal and water on the way back to the Little Western. Don't mind if I help you back to the sheds? Sure thing, Mr. Paxton. Paxton was coupled up in front of Oliver and he set off. It was night time when they arrived back at the sheds. Oh, thank you, Paxton. You're welcome, Oliver. And Paxton returned to his shed at the Blue Mountain Quarry. The next day, Oliver told Duck and the Arsdale engines all about yesterday. And I thought we would be stuck all night. But Paxton came and offered to help. Ho 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 ho. Well, that's quite the story you had there, Oliver. But it wasn't very exciting compared to the one you were telling yesterday. I thought it was a pretty good one. Thanks you guys. I need to get on with my work now. Be sure to fill up on more coal and water for the next team. <laughs> 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 Ha 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 ha!